What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, my name is Dean aka The Blue Crusader and today we're back for another Halo Reach video. So this video I'm going to be showing you how to get season points in Halo Reach on PC. So this is Halo PC MCC Edition, the Master Chief Collection on PC. Now this works the same on the Steam version and the Microsoft Windows version. So a lot of people don't understand the new career mode system, a lot of people have literally just bought the game, this video will help, but for the most part people who have owned the game for a few days will probably be kind familiar with how the system works now. On here we have Season 3. You'll see I actually have three Season Points actually left over ready to unlock. And you'll see that I'm actually on the second tier system. So I'm going to kind of explain this a little bit. So as you can see there is a few different dots here. I am on the second one. And I'm going to explain how everything works. So currently we're on Halo Reach Season 1 meaning future seasons will be implemented. I'm not sure when those specific seasons will come, maybe when a new game is unlocked. So if they release Halo CE, which is Halo 1, which seems to be next in line, because it's in chronological order of the actual setting of the story, then maybe they'll release a new season. I don't know what the plan is right now, but currently we are on season one. Now, one thing that a lot of people are annoyed about is the fact that progression that people got on the Xbox 360 version of Reach does not carry over. So if you're using the same Xbox Live profile, since you do have to actually log into an Xbox profile to play the game, you won't actually have any of the progress that you unlocked if you used to play the game on Xbox 360, which a lot of people are annoyed about. I don't personally understand why people are annoyed about it because Halo Reach, for me, was one of my favourite games on the 360. I did have probably like 80% of the unlocks. I had a lot of the unlocks. It was my favourite game for a long time. So I can understand why people would want all of the hard-earned stuff just given back to them. But for me, Halo Reach multiplayer is always fun. I mean, it's pretty linear, but it always is fun just to play constant. But having an unlock system to actually work towards is pretty good for me. So I'm kind of excited just to unlock everything again. So I don't really think it's a valid thing to complain about when most games that are ported or re-released don't usually let you carry over the old progress on the old version. So as you can see, we have tons of armors here. We have military police, recon helmet, Mark 5B, CQC, all of the awesome armor which we had in the old game. So all of these armors are actually unlocked by spending season points like I said here I have three season points and each progressional option or armor piece if you like will cost one season point if we scroll through all of the selections one season point to unlock them all so I could theoretically buy three new pieces right now now season points are unlocked from playing the game but not specifically from just playing the game it's actually from leveling up in the game so grinding levels right now is the optimal main and probably the only method to actually get season points so each rank up you get you get one season point each season Season point you can spend on one piece of armor in one of these tiers so as you can see we have some pretty awesome stuff if we scroll to the last few tiers on here we can see we have some pretty cool stuff like the armor effects now we can't just double click this and unlock this I can't jump ahead and unlock what I want I can't just skip through and unlock the cool stuff like the Eva C helmet which is from Emil in the story mode I can't just go ahead and unlock this everything is progressive everything is in order so we have to unlock everything from left to right in stages we can't jump ahead to buy the cool stuff we want so it's kind of like a progression system this season point system is basically the new implementation that's here to replace the old 360 unlock system which we had with the credits so in the old version of the game we actually had to save up credits from challenges and medals and basically unlock things with credits things costed thousands of credits and it was a pretty big grind but a lot of people did actually used to love the credit system me included but this is a brand new system which replaces it to unlock armor pieces one thing which a lot of people confused about is why the system is how it is is if you have a look literally every piece of armor is one season point like we said before it's not two it's not three it's not four or five season points it's just one and every time we level up we get one season point so a lot of people are confused why do we have to get season points and spend them to unlock things like I'm just gonna show you an example this is the CQC unlocking your tier reward now I have the CQC helmet and the attachment for it here but why do we have to do that why do we have to go through that process 
process to actually unlock it with a point when we get one point per level so technically every time we level up we're guaranteed a new unlock and you can't pick specific unlocks you have to do it in this order so why don't reach just unlock each thing automatically per level that would make more sense unless maybe later they want us to be able to pick what we want to unlock specifically and they'll do away with the system or maybe when they have different seasons we could spend a point on the content from the different seasons so I'm not sure how they're going to do that but that leaves it pretty confusing until we get more content things should make more sense because there will be new seasons in the future this is currently the only season right now now you'll see that there is actually a few different dots here and these represent different tiers so we have two three four five six seven eight we have ten tiers in total okay so we have ten tiers in total each of these dots that represent a tier we have to unlock literally everything in each tier to progress onto the next tier to unlock that tiers unlocks and buy all the things like we said we have to do it in order now a lot of these tiers have different things so this is the same way to unlock all armor pieces shoulders chest plates helmets and then we have things like firefight voices from some of the main characters to replace in the firefight mode we have elite armor sets so here is the ranger one there's not too much in terms of, of customization for elites we have mainly just fixed armor sets but you can unlock them through here we can also unlock the particle effects now 343 did confirm that there will be additional new items so that means new content which wasn't previously in reach which is going to be added in the future so it's unclear if we spend these same season points on all of the seasons or if we get different points per season so i'm not sure how that's going to work now you'll see that this kind of echoes the same style and appearance of battle passes so in fortnite we have the battle pass in apex legends we have the battle pass where everything's based from leveling up and this is the same system although we don't have to buy anything so it's not a paid downloadable content it's not some kind of DLC or battle passes usually you have to pay for you get a free pass which you don't really get much with and then you have to pay for a premium pass in Halo Reach we get everything just generally from leveling up so we don't pay for it per se but it does kind of have the appearance and the same system which a battle pass would in a modern game so that's one way that 343 has actually modernized things now you'll see when we get to level 100 or tier 100 we actually get the Master Chief firefight voice which is going to be the most demanded one because Master chief is the main halo protagonist and then we have the eternal armor effect this is the coolest effect this is what we could only get back in the day if you were a bungie employee and then when bungie actually lost the rights to reach and the new development came in and when 343 of microsoft the new dev came in when bungie left microsoft they actually allowed all players to use the i think it was the bungie app or something like that to actually get the bungie blue flames so that's what i did back in the day so we can unlock the blue flames again big plus right there that's super cool and we can also get the pilot helmet the haunted variation where we have the skull so a lot of people are really going to be looking forward to that now they haven't done something like a halloween event or something fitting for that that's just the tier 100 reward so if that's the last reward then what's the last season 2 rewards going to be they're going to have to be awesome to match these because these are literally the three coolest items in the game now currently like i said you have to level up to actually unlock season points so in the future are we gonna have challenges to actually unlock season points because like i said right now the only way to actually unlock armor is through these season points but to get season points we have to level up to get one season point i think in the future they will possibly add a challenge system so if we complete challenges we can also get more points so it's interesting to see what 343 will actually do with reach and mcc in the future patches because we're in the very early stages right now the game's only been out seven days so that's literally just one week so they have a lot of different options to actually change this and add new stuff to it now possibly the coolest thing i have to admit literally the coolest thing which 343 has actually confirmed which is probably because this is quite an old game at this point is they've actually confirmed that once the new content comes out and they bring out new seasons you're gonna still be able to work towards unlocking the old content so let's say that i don't complete all the tiers for season one let's say i don't play enough or i don't get enough points or level up enough this season Season. when season two drops i will actually be able to go back and complete the first season like the first battle pass kind of thing which is something you don't see in modern games obviously with paid battle passes because what their strategy is is they want to make you play more so for an example when we're actually playing something like fortnite we have to buy the battle pass but we also have only the duration of the current season to complete all the battle pass content so for an example in apex legends i completed the season three battle pass i'm literally only a few levels from completing that now but the season one battle pass in apex i bought that but i did not complete it i was nowhere near completing it so in halo the great thing is is we don't have to spend literally hours a day playing the game we can do the 
more important things and we can play just a little bit and we can still go back and complete the parts later so it doesn't put us in a panic to rush through all the content and put more hours in from our day to actually finish it which is something I really like I don't like having to grind things all day just to get something in a video game so it's nice that they've given us the option that we can actually backtrack and complete our content again so we'll be able to do each season whenever we want to which is really nice and I think that'll keep people playing for the future because they have an option which content they want to complete and people who didn't complete the previous content when they run out of current content they can go back and complete the holes they didn't actually finish so that's also a really good strategy and what I'm going to do next video is I'm going to do a video on how to actually get XP quicker and level up faster because obviously XP is based off the duration of the game you get more XP the longer you play and your performance so this is based off your doubles your triples your sprees which all give multipliers and basically just your general medals and performances you get in each game so I will be doing a full video talking about the XP maybe I'll do some more firefight videos and other cool halo videos but if you did enjoy this video explaining the season point system because I know a lot of youtubers haven't fully explained the system properly a lot of people did the video too early in order to try and get views a few days ago and a lot of the information was incorrect because they didn't have time to actually play the game to kind of figure everything out properly so I thought I'd drop a video explaining things fully because I couldn't find one so if this was useful definitely make sure to subscribe to the channel and drop a like on the video I would be bringing more useful tutorials and guide videos on Halo Reach and the future MCC games as they come to PC so make sure to actually subscribe so you don't miss out on that content and make sure to actually enable the notifications by clicking on the bell icon next to the sub button just in case you want to see those videos and not miss them so thanks for watching guys and i'll see you next time